Hey, the content used in this video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. All rights to the images, music, clips, and other materials used belong to their respective owners. I do not claim ownership over any third party content used in this video. Let's get to the video, dog. This is cuz and happiness. So tell Al Green to pass the grits. My ego. Chris, give a demonstration in front of the nation. Smack. I ain't playing. If I had to leave your motherfucking ass right where you land. Smack. Leave me alone. You might live longer if you mind your own. Watch your tone. I'm too damn grown for this shit. Sticks and stones, well, I'ma pick the stick and crack your ass. You need a maxi pad to stop that blood coming out the gas pump. Not no motherfuckers like old bitch ass Ice Cube. Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> Something you remember. O'Shea is cool, right? I mean, O'Shea in the strength that the brother's an entertainer. Other than that, he ain't no gangster. He never shot nobody. He ain't from 111. He ain't from neighborhood. Grew up on, what, 108th and Van Wick, something like that. Van S. Van Wick, some shit. He ain't no gangster. But the way he parlays, he tends to make people believe he's the real G. And to be a G means to be able to put work in and be in the street and be, in, be respected. Well, you can come on 108th and Western without WC. That's some real motherfuckers. It means being able to, you know, write motherfuckers like JD and send some chips. Get a lawyer for a motherfucker. Real G shit. Oh, he's the entertainer. I ain't got no problem. He got some dope lyrics. But he ain't living that shit. And motherfuckers tend to think that he is. I be getting letters. Motherfuckers think, to him, what's up with Ice Cube, your OG homie? And that ain't true. Ice Cube is not a crip. He's not a blood. He's not really a thug. He's an entertainer. And that's the real. That's the dope. And you gotta get that bullshit out your head. Because what he talking about, he ain't living. And what I lived is what I'm talking about. To my bullet holes and scars. To my 19, 20 years in prison. YA, Camp, Juvenile Hall, San Quentin, Folsom, Solidad, Corcoran, Pelican Bay, Chino, the whole. Ice Cube ain't never been nowhere. He ain't never did no time. He ain't never had to face no motherfucking Mexicans. Except on the mic. Hey, bro, come on now, dawg. Come on, man. And that's real. Don't be following no bullshit. Because bullshit will get you killed. Now give me my theme music. Let's go. Oh, Let's get the mood again. Cause he ain't ready. He new to this. Now, give me my theme music. Hey yo, baby D. Get your little ass over here on the mic, man. Show these other little niggas they can't fuck with the dangerous crew, man. Spit that shit. Shit on gold, gold, shine, gold, glasses, prime, time like Dion. Hey, can't do the corn, do the Dion. Dion. You hear me? He don't speak on me, I don't compete with a peon. Fly in a bundle like my name was Dion. Well, yeah, I just interviewed Special Ed, uh -huh. right? And he did an interview with Drink Champs where he said NWA brought destruction to hip hop. And all these people got upset. Like Exhibit like kind of threatened him on Instagram and oh, yo, you know, and then a lot of people argued, oh, no, that's not what happened. Uh, 
what about racism and and Cointel Pro what, and, what and, about isms and shit you know, like, whatever. You know, but but people, what what I said to him was like, you're actually right. Yeah, I remember how me and my friends became more aggressive listening to NWA and. <laughs> And wanted to emulate. Luckily, I didn't take it too far, you know. But like but at that it. time, it was like, "Yo, we never heard anything like this." And what he said was also interesting. He said, "Listen, I don't really care what other people have to say about this." He's like, "I actually know NWA." So he, him, and Ice Cube had a conversation. What Ice Cube told him was, "Listen, originally when we made this music, it was almost like a parody of the hood." <laughs> And we didn't really right. expect it to go very far, but before we knew it, it became this worldwide yeah, it's phenomenon. Like, yeah, and it's like, like we just had to run with it. Up. I did have a discussion with Cube and he understands where I'm coming from and I understand where he's coming from. They say that they were just making, I wouldn't say parody, but records for the hood, selling out the trunk. It wasn't intended for global scale marketing, but that's what, that's where it was taken. If, if you if you think, okay, you thought Ice Cube was a gangster. You, it's silly to think that now, right? Yes, he's a guy it's, who does family movies. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's but but there's a basketball think, league. So <laughs> if you you too dumb to learn learn these lessons, yeah. well, fuck you then. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's not nobody's a hater. I'm not talk, talking shit about Ice Cube. I'm I'm saying that's an he's an amazing he's he's a family man family man. He's Look, an artist. I, you know. Dr. He's an Dre. Actor, he's I a rapper. know these people. Yeah. These it, it, Snoop. I mean, Snoop, I I just hired Snoop. Snoop's dad, Papa Snoop. <laughs> the, the, we had a great time. And, you know, he's in the movie that I just um, produced, uh, that I directed. But th there's there's a bigger thing here. You know, people could hopefully they're not so far gone that they're just going to believe. Try to believe somebody who's in front of camera and make be making believe for a living. I, I, I would hope you'd be able to listen to what I'm saying because I'm on this other side of the camera, you know? But if you want to be a dumbass, be a dumbass. But the fact is, there are people who get the point. You I'm know? trying to remember who I spoke to about this. They're, they're, they're telling me about how they were, I think it was one of the Hughes brothers. But they were hanging out with Easy e at the time, and uh, they were saying, I think it was the Hughes Brothers, I could be wrong, but they said they were hanging out and NWA had a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. And all the NWA guys showed up and they had all this Versace on and all this linen and all this fly clothes. They took it all off, put on this, their black uniforms, you yeah. know, their Raiders hats, yeah. their Kings hats, you know, their, their Carhartt jail jackets, you know, scrunched up their faces, you know, pulled out some guns or whatever else. And they're like, cut, we're done. Okay, they put back their Versace and put went right. back into their regular daily, you know, took off their costumes yeah. and went back into their daily, you know, dress code. Uh How they dress outside of these photo shoots. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like... Yeah, and, and the fact that a lot of people don't know this is that there are so many artists that want to put out like, that wanted to put out like positive lyrics, but the companies are like, no, no, no that's that don't sell. Yeah, it's death and destruction and, and yeah. brothers killing each other is going to sell. That's what Special Ed was saying. Saying like, once that happened, then the labels got behind it. Yeah, and they started to push more and more artists towards it. People get mad at that shit. Like that. Yeah, they they want you to kill yourselves. Yeah, you know what I mean. One of the things that you know, being from New York. Hey, you know, we started out, you know, hip hop started out in New York and it was very political. Man, let me tell you something, bro. This old ass nigga, he wasn't even on my radar. You know what I'm saying? But I'm so goddamn, I'm a, I'm a discerning ass type of person, bro. You feel me? Let me get my shit right so I can get into my ether mode. You feel me? I gotta get my ether mode together. All right. That ain't right. Let me get my ether mode together, man. Hold on. Let me get my ether mode together, bro. Talk to this nigga, man. Clamp on this nigga, man. Tell you something, bro. You need to leave me the fuck alone, dog. Straight up. Because I go into your history, nigga. I dig your history out. Let me see. All right, bro. 
Let me tell you something, G. I wasn't even going to fuck with these old ass niggas. I was just really just trying to clean up the industry in general. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas been feeding us this bullshit for so long, bro. Like, if y'all ain't going to speak about it, cool. But if you're going to come out and defend this shit and try to take shots at me because I'm trying to clean this shit up and fuck up your plate now, y'all bitch ass niggas and already ate hundreds of millions of dollars off the motherfucking culture and off the race and off the uh, ethnicity. You know what I'm saying? Y'all made us watch these videos. Y'all made us buy these DVDs. Y'all made us watch, uh, pay for these CDs and shit. We fed into your whole propaganda for all these years. But at what point do y'all niggas stop and say, hey, man, I need to put down some real shit and tell my people some real shit. You know what I'm saying? And like, Stop feeding them bullshit. So when a nigga like myself comes along or a nigga like Doggy Diamonds come along or, you know what I'm saying, her son Campbell, uh, uh, Omar Johnson, somebody like that come along and start telling y'all niggas about yourself, how y'all fucking up our culture. Why do you have so much pushback for us? You not already got in the game and cleaned your, cleaned your image up. You know what I'm saying? You done got uh basketball leagues and making movies and all this shit so when a nigga try to come along and clean up this gang bullshit that y'all keep on perpetuating all across the motherfucking country all type of gangs excluding none why the fuck do y'all have a problem when somebody come along and try to stop this bullshit that y'all putting down nigga we tired of seeing our little cousins go to jail for uh shooting at niggas or fucking selling drugs and shit man when your bitch ass in a motherfucking mansion in Beverly Hills somewhere, our people still in the struggle and still in the grind having to deal with the bullshit that you perpetuate. And you come out with this motherfucking, this is cuz and happiness. And then, man, 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 ain't your bitch ass living behind motherfucking gates, man. Man, fuck you, man. To my, you smack a motherfucker up. And for y'all that don't know, I perceive, perceive that shit interpret that shit is supposed to mean me in that motherfucking video with the uh with the uh the uh, ski mask on because in my videos i wear all black very very often and uh in one of my videos i did like some shorts about what crime you commit in a ski mask and all black and then where that shit lands you so I perceive that as niggas trying to say, I'm going I'm to throw a subliminal at his ass by putting this on and, and showing him as this person in my video. And hopefully he'll grab that and see that I'm talking about him. Yeah, I see that. And I took it as a motherfucking direct shot. Now I'm bombing back at you, bitch. You feel me? This is my ether. You feel me? And if you come back, bitch, I'm going to dig up some more interviews. And show these niggas who the fuck you really are. Because you perpetrate some shit, dog. Quit leading people the wrong way. Yo bitch ass done went off to Hollywood and Beverly Hills and Calabasas and all this shit living. But you steady want to portray this image. <laughs> these niggas still in the hood killing each other, man, behind some shit that you perpetuate. And Monster Cody the big homie saying that you ain't about none of that, nigga. Michael J. White, a real actor, that'll whoop your motherfucking ass on some karate shit. He's saying, bitch, you ain't no motherfucking real gangster, nigga. You's an actor, nigga. Lights, camera, action. But you steady out here perpetuating this old falsified ass image of yourself like you a real gangster. Man, Monster Cody say, you can't even come to the hood like that, nigga, if it weren't for Dub C. And look at you, 2024. Still got motherfucking Dub C in the videos. I ain't got shit against WC, nigga, but nigga, if you want to goddamn jump in this shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, 
We against anything that's going to make us kill our own black people. Now, let me get uh, political and sophisticated when I talk to you. You feel me? Uh, nigga, we against all drugs being sold to our people that ruin black households. Because, nigga, them kilos and them pounds of weed and all that bullshit, it makes somebody, mama or daddy, test positive when they go to get a motherfucking job. And if that family can't get a job, then those kids struggle. And if those kids struggle, nigga, then that's some kids that are going to come to school and fuck up my young kids' uh, learning capabilities because they ain't going to be able to function because the kid with the bad parents is going to interrupt the whole class environment, whether it comes with attitudes, uh, laughing and joking in class, or fighting, or any type of bullshit that just takes away from my kid exuding her best uh, uh, educational capabilities, it's a problem to me because now I got to take off from work, go see what's going on with my kid at school, and it's all because of the shit that you perpetuate. Nigga, whether it's selling drugs or making gangsterism cool, bitch, it's fucking up households. So you on my motherfucking radar. And to y'all old ass 50, 60, 70 year old ass niggas that want to be rapping, want to be gangsters. Stop this shit. I'm on your motherfucking neck, nigga. Nah. And it really ain't much to say after that. I'm on your neck, nigga. I don't give a fuck where you're from. West Coast, East Coast, Midwest, or the motherfucking South. If you ain't down with this shit that's about cleaning up the neighborhood, you can get either two. Now, somebody else step out there. And I'm real about everything I've been through. So you can't bring up shit that I done been through. And I'm going to be ashamed of it, motherfucker. It made me who I am. Bitch. I done been beat up before. Had my lip split. Bitch. All by motherfuckers that I call my friends because I was on this motherfucking mission. Nah. What else you going to bring up, nigga? I don't give a fuck what you bring up. Nigga. I'm real with mine. One.